Perfect. Hey everybody, I'm here with Andy from Every Time I Die. How's it going, man? Very good, very good. Yeah. Just rainy, wet. <laughs> it's very true. Wet. We're here in Montreal at the Warp Tour, and it's been raining like crazy all day. Yeah. I just want to talk a little bit about your video, The New Black. Okay. It's an amazing piece of cinematography, and I thought to myself, like, does do you guys get a lot of influence from movie movies when you're on your like um, you doing your music? Basically, a good portion of Every Time I Die is is based on movies. It's like really weird because we're all super huge movie buffs. And uh, yeah, and, and uh, the weird thing is for the new black video, um, we had two videos that came out at that time. It was like we had the new black, and then before that we had um, kill the music. Kill the music, yeah. yeah. And like kill the music was like totally like a throw at like old Italian movies yeah. and stuff because there was like, a lot of colors and we used like kind of like a, a really really sharp like if the whole video is just super sharp like. Mm -hmm. The colors and 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 the and the, uh, the contrast, um, uh, yeah. And then on the new black, it was just like we got Dan Rush, who's like this gnarly, gnarly like he's like a commercial. He's he's done like a ton of commercials and like he's awesome. And he he's really really picky and choosy as to what like bands he wants to work with and stuff. And it, it just That's worked out flattering. perfect. Yeah, it was awesome. So because I know that Michael Madsen, um, such he's in such cult classics as like the Kill Bill installments. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, Reservoir Dogs. He was actually yeah. in uh, the Kill the Music, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that must have been really rad. What was it like actually meeting him? Uh, it was cool, man. He was a really, really rad dude. Like he was like, uh, yeah. it was funny because like he showed up and like I'm not, I don't drink. Like I haven't, you know, I'm straight edge. I've been straight edge for 16 years and uh, the funny thing was, you know, he showed up and I was like, what do you need? What do you need? Like, oh, uh, we have Jack Daniels because you just think like Michael Madsen. Oh, he's probably just a gnarly drinker, you know. Yeah. And. Uh, I was like, well, we got Jack Daniels back there. And he goes, look, kid, I drank so much whiskey in the 80s, you could float a ship. And he goes, you got vodka? And I was just like, get this guy vodka. We just started, like, screaming, like, you know, we had to send a guy to go get vodka. And it was awesome, man. He was he was so fucking rad. And, and still to this day, he, like, still kind of keeps in touch. We'll get an email every once in a while. And really? Stuff. Yeah. That's so cool. It was so cool. Yeah. So. Now, Dallas Green of City and Color and Alexis on Fire actually yeah. appears on this album. Yeah. And um, also on your last album on Kill the Music, you had Jerry, Jared Way from My Chemical Romance. Yeah. And uh, we had, uh, we had Daryl Palumbo sing on, uh, what song did he sing on? He sang on Champing at the Bit. Yeah. Yeah. So. Now, it seems that you guys have a guest vocalist sometimes, like, on the past two albums. Yeah. So, who would be your prime guest vocalist that you'd love to come in and do something with? Um, we're, for our, like, you know, whatever CD we come out with next, or when that is, we're trying to get Brian Johnson from ACDC oh to try to God. sing on a record, which would, that would, that would be mind. insane, man. <laughs> like, because, like, we're all, like, ACDC is, like, one of our all-time favorite bands, and, like, that would just be like, the icing on the cake of a career that's, like, We've done everything, you know what yeah. I mean? Like it's literally like there's there's not one thing that every time I die hasn't done. We've played every like major summer tour. We've done almost every country you could possibly think of, and uh, so this is just the icing on the cake. Yeah, it would just be like, oh man, like to be in the same sentence as a dude from ACDC would be ridiculous. That's amazing. Yeah. Man, I hope that happens. Me too. Oh, uh, for sure. Yeah. Now, um, speaking about Dallas Green, what was it like recording with him? Because, like, for me, he's just an incredible singer. Yeah. And, like, what was your experience? Oh, just another dude, man. Yeah. I, basically, we've known each other. Like, he, it was really funny, man. It was, like, uh, earlier on, like, when I first started, like, well, not first started. I, I was already going to hardcore shows and punk rock shows. I was kind of a brutal dude where I would fight people all the time and do stupid shit at shows and whatever. And uh, when we first met the Alexis on Fire dudes, the first thing all of them said, like it was like a collective thing, they were all around me and they were like, look man, we just want to thank you over the years for never hurting any of us. <laughs> like thank you so much. And it was like, man, and like kind of opened my eyes like, man, I was that much of a dick, you know what I mean? And they're like, no, you were never a dick. It's just you were way more brutal than anyone else. So just everyone was terrified. We did. They they took us on this tour of Canada, and we just became like the best of friends, man. And it, it That's awesome. honestly, like to this day, if if you asked any member of Every Time I Die, like who the band that we're probably close with, it'd probably be Alex on Fire. That's and so it, cool. and just Dallas is like, I, I honestly at the end of that tour, man, I, I remember like going up to him and like I'm, I don't have, I don't have much respect for any of this, like musically, because I just think it's like. 
it's a bunch of people that think they're way more important than they are, and they don't realize that it, they were given a chance in life. You know what I mean? We're like us and the guys from Alexa on Fire, the guys from the Bronx, the guys from Dillard Escape Plan, realize that like we're we were handed this. You know what I mean? And it could go away in any second. All these fucking fools don't realize that, you know. And uh, that was one thing that was huge with with Dallas. It's like that dude is. 10 times more talented than anyone I know and he doesn't think he's talented at all I mean it literally is like dude you are like like a class A musician you know what I mean dude and like that's 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 exactly man he's just so fucking talented that it, it just it blows my mind man that's really cool yeah and so when you had him in on the record did you know In Rehab was the song you wanted him to sing on or? yeah for yeah. sure I mean it was just like that whole like that whole bar was basically written for him, you know what I mean? That's it was cool. just like, that would be great. And it, it was awesome because he actually flew in for that. Like, you know, he flew no from Canada to that and then flew out. So it was awesome. That's so